to Honey Bee News. I'm a worker bee. I'm the Queen Bee. And we're here to talk about all the disgraceful things that's been happening to honey bees and how you can make a difference. First we are going to show you some footage of that from flower mines. These mites suck our blood and leave holes in our body and we get diseases. See that's all dead brood. I was really worried because one of the signs of American fowl brood is these little holes. And I thought, oh no, bees have been, because um, they check, they check to see why the bee inside has died. The healthy bees go and check and uh, if anyone pokes your matchstick and you'll see it doesn't rope out. The varroa mite has caused this, caused these to die. I mean, people can have a bee in, in the um, hive in their backyard but they have to be willing to look after them. You just, um, a long time ago, before these diseases and varroa mite, you could just have a hive sit in your backyard and it didn't really matter, you didn't have to do much. Oh, well that's not the only problem. Human juice sprays with neonicotinoids in them. These are poisonous to us honeybees. I've had enough. I think we need to sort out these problems. I'm going to spray the apple tree to kill the bugs. You are using neonicotinoids. What? Look at the back of the bottle. Professor Menzel has found out what happens to honeybees who are given neonicotinoids. We get all woozy and we don't know how to find our way back home to the beehive. We can't use lamps or the sun to help us. What should I do? Do not spray on windy days do not use sprays with neonicotinoids look under before you spray read the instructions before spraying we also get eaten by birds spiders primatrices and eaten by wasps wasps did somebody say wasps guys move out honeybees are very important pollinators without uh -oh. us you won't have a lot of food to eat. There will be no chocolate, no almonds, no lemons, no apples and no kiwi fruit. About one third of food is pollinated by honeybees. At about 20 days old, worker bees go scouting for nectar and pollen. They use their proboscis, their tongue, to collect nectar. Honey bees smell with their antennae. They have hair on their bodies that attracts the pollen. This honey bee is scraping the pollen off her legs. They should store their pollen all around there and then they have the brood in the middle and then they go and get it. It takes about 12 honey bees to make one teaspoon of honey. This is a honeycomb full of honey. It's heavy. Welcome back to Honeybee News. Now we are going to talk about making a difference. Let's buzz over to visit our school who are making a bee garden for us. We made cupcakes and soaps to raise money for our bee garden. This is where we are going to plant our bee garden because it's very, very sunny. We went to a nursery to buy some flowers for our bee garden. Honey bees like flowers that have good quality nectar, like apples and peaches, lemon trees, camellias. Lavender and manuka flowers, herbs like sage, and flowers like cosmos. For our bee garden, we are planting oregano, sage, lavender, catmint, cosmos, sunflowers, and seeds for bees. 